symbol with your readings for uh, September the 3rd through September the 9th. Now, um, these are general readings, guys. If you would like a personal reading, you may click, sorry, click here. <laughs> click here for a personal reading. Um, listen, guys, if you're new, welcome. I'm so happy that you uh, stopped by and I really hope that you'll stick around and you'll keep coming back and that you enjoy these readings. Um, and if you're returning, guys, I love you. You're my heart. Thank you so much for being loyal and and uh, keep coming back. I want to thank my patrons. My patrons are amazing. Thank you so much for your generosity. And if you'd like to check out my Patreon page, um, you can click on this link here. Uh, I do postings just for um, just for the patrons and there's different levels. So check it out um, now. Uh, first of all, I do an astrological report for those of you who haven't been here before and then and I put that on every reading um, as an intro and then I go into the individual readings, um, zodiac signs. So there's a lot going on astrologically this week, guys. So I just wanted to um, mention that. So there's give me a minute. OK, so on the 5th. Mercury moves into Virgo and that is Mercury's home, you know, analytical. It feels very comfortable um, in Virgo. Now, Mercury in Virgo um, is a great opportunity for you to look at finances, to really kind of analyze what's working, what isn't, and to, you know, make plans for the future. Just be careful not to kind of overanalyze, you know, just kind of Take it easy, look at the situation and and figure out what's going to work for you going forward. Um, now, the next day, Saturn goes direct. Wow, that's three planets that have gone direct in the last couple of uh, weeks. We have Mercury and then uh, the week before last and then last week we had Mars and this week we have Capricorn. Um, so things are going to start to move forward. If you've been trying to start things and you've had blockages and, and some kind of barriers going up and you couldn't get it done, things are going to start moving forward now. Um, so Saturn uh, has been in retrograde since April the 17th earlier this year. So it's such a relief, you know, that Capricorn is going uh, forward. Uh, Saturn, sorry, Saturn. Is going forward in Capricorn um, which is a beautiful thing this is going to bring focus into our situation so along with Mercury and Virgo and then uh, Saturn in Capricorn going forward we are going to start kind of moving and shaking lots of things I think there's a lot of energy going on um, and things are really going to move fast now um, on the 7th uh, yeah, Mercury in uh, Virgo is trying to Saturn in Capricorn. Well, look, you know, first of all, these planets are going direct and then they're in this beautiful relationship with one another. So I really feel that this is a perfect time to kind of start something new, at least plan something new, right? Because then we've got the new moon on Sunday. But before I go any further, we also have, um, at the same time, we've got uh, Mercury trying to Uranus. Uranus is actually uh, in retrograde and it is in Taurus. So we're going to feel a little pull there, um, but it's in a good relationship. So kind of nice things might, might uh, pop up for us, great things. This is really a good time to kind of have a think tank, to really come up with some brilliant creative ideas. So the sun opposing Neptune, which is retrograde. So this is a brilliant time to really come up with some creative ideas. I mean, that's the energy. We are going to get these amazing creative ideas. Now, it's really good to kind of, you know, present them, get them planned. Don't sign anything yet because the sun opposing Neptune can make you a little fuzzy. So, you know, it can have that tendency. So don't just just hold off on signing anything or, or committing to anything, but definitely come up with these brilliant ideas, present them, you know, have meetings, go on interviews. And um, on the 8th, 
Venus uh, in Libra square is square to Mars in Capricorn. Um, there could be some challenges romantically here. You know, this could be um, uh, issues coming up in these in re in your relationship, in your romantic relationships. This this is a time to kind of um, look at it from a different angle and and solve it peacefully. Try try a different approach. Look, screaming and arguing never really works, does it? So try to think of stepping back and taking a different view and and solving this in a in a different way because this is an opportunity for a much deeper connection and and getting really close with one another when you when you resolve it in a peaceful way um so now uh on this and then we've got the new moon on sunday the new moon in virgo now this is compassionate and creative energy um, brilliant ideas I told you this is all weak um, but practical right um, now and at the same time Venus enters Scorpio so this is like very deep intense feelings and emotions around your loved one and so this is this is an intense time look these brilliant ideas are coming to you it's very important to write them down it's a new moon it's your intention and i've said this before when you write it down it's not about writing it down and saying i'm i, I'm, I intend to do this i intend to do that i intend to. it's about describing how it would feel if that was the case and as if you are experiencing that write that down because that is the law of attraction as you're writing that down and you're feeling it you are attracting it and um, what a brilliant way to start uh, to start an intention on the new moon and this moon uh, this new moon in particular so well every new moon I always say that this new moon <laughs> But this is very powerful, creative energy at play during this week, this whole week, guys. So anyway, um, without further ado, let's go to your cards, shall we? Hello, Aries, and welcome to your reading for September the 3rd through September the 9th. And the first card out for you is the King of Swords. The King of Swords is this incredible cerebral, intelligent, he believes that power is in knowledge, right? He's really, and nobody can question his authority. He is an authority figure. Um, uh, nobody can question his authority or his expertise. He's very intelligent. Now, he he has no area on judging people he'll put his people before himself always but he doesn't do it for nothing <laughs> like he expects accolades he expects you to really acknowledge um how wonderful he is right and all the progress that has been made because of him he he requires that acknowledgement um now He represents the justice card too. He's very much like the justice card. He is a champion for justice. He does, he's about, it's karma too. He's about doing things for the right reason. He's about coming at a situation from the intellect, right? So it's about coming at it from the intellect. It's about looking at it intelligently and doing the right thing for the right reason. This isn't about manipulation and it's not, Definitely don't manipulate the situation, Aries. This is about really doing the right thing for the right reason. Um, and look, clarifying it is temperance. So whatever it is, whatever situation is coming up for you, uh, you must remember not to escape your feelings by doing, uh, by, this is about really being patient is what I'm getting. This is about being patient. It's allowing justice to take its course. 
it's allowing it and it's not about escaping through anything that can take you out of your feelings you know it's not about uh drinking too much eating too much gambling you know anything that's kind of can be addictive or can take you away from your feelings this is everything in moderation guys that's going to be your motto this week um now the next card up for you is the two of swords you're refusing to see the situation uh the truth in a situation that's what this is saying there is a decision on the table and you don't want to make it because you don't you're not looking at it honestly this is asking you when the two of swords comes in it's asking you to really kind of take off the blindfold take a look around what is it what is the truth in this situation really look at the truth you're being asked to come out of denial i don't want to say i, I don't know how else to say it now there are two cards clarifying it you've got the four of wands which is the celebration the thing is is by not making this decision once and for all whatever this decision is for you you're causing confusion but when you do take the blindfold off and you see the truth in the situation things are really looking up this can be really great look you've got the king of swords again doing right the thing no manipulation here this is about seeing the truth in this situation things can be really great for you but it's almost like you are and it's a mental thing right because it's definitely intellect so it's almost like your mind is playing tricks on you aries um the next card up for you is the five of cups this is really in a mindset of deprivation and it's a thing where it's not just it's not just monetary monetarily it's not just physical mass manifestation this is a whole way of feeling like you don't have enough or you you never will this is what this is a feeling it's like i'll never have i'll never be enough that's you look that's very sad and it's believing that you will never be enough and uh, and that's what i got from this card look at the sad eyes this is look this is the lack thereof so it's the lack of love it's the lack of confidence it's the lack of money it's the lack of it's just the lack thereof and this is the emotional state that some of you are in right now when this card comes up it's saying look there are other forms of of abundance you it's like look she's holding on to two cups but all she's doing is focusing on these cups that have spilled she has two cups but she's just not acknowledging the fact that she has the two cups this is definitely looking at your cup as half full as opposed to half empty so this is you, look when you start to look around and you start to see all the stuff that you have start to appreciate you know the people in your life your friendships you know the roof over your head you know a little tight you know a beautiful crystal or a rock you know whatever it is little heart whatever it is that you know that you that makes you feel abundant you know focus on that which you have as opposed to that which you haven't and look you've got the justice card i feel look this could even be that things are going to go your way things are going your way but you have to kind of pull yourself up from this energy you have to start focusing on your cup half full because this is this is saying look if as long as you're not manipulating a situation and you you know things are going to go your way when the justice card comes in it's like you know darling don't worry about this don't be in the fear this is definitely fear oh the acronym for fear is f forgetting that everything is all right <laughs> fear it's forgetting that everything is all right um 
Aries, it's almost like you're a prisoner of your own mind this week. So it's about, of course, I always say meditation is the perfect cure for that because we can't control our minds, but we can stop our minds from controlling us. And that's what meditation does. So this is a clear case of uh, being controlled by your mind, bringing in fear. Look, it's not like we don't all go there. We do. We all go there. But then when we have a really good practice of meditation, we can be aware and we can say, oh, I'm not going down that rabbit hole. I can look down, but I'm definitely not going down. I've been down there. It's very hard to come back up. <laughs> right, Aries? Listen, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate you. Please don't forget to like this video, share it on your social media. Please comment. I love comment and feedback. That's why I'm here. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Mwah! I love you all and I'll see you next week. For a personal reading with Mary, go to www.liveinthesolution.com.